हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर द सोल्यूशन ऑफ सच मोर प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम 290 इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट द गियर एंड अटैच वी बेल्ट पुली आर टर्निंग काउंटर क्लॉक वाइज एंड आर सब्जेक्टेड टू द टूथ लोड ऑफ सिक्सटीन न्यूटन राइट सो हेयर वी हैव सिक्सटीन न्यूटन लोड एंड एट हंड्रेड न्यूटन एंड फोर फिफ्टी न्यूटन टेंशन राइट सो इट इज फोर फिफ्टी एंड एट हंड्रेड न्यूटन टेंशन इन द वी बेल्ट सो इट इज सेट दैट रिप्रेजेंट द एक्शन ऑफ दीज थ्री फोर्सिस बाय आर रिजल्ट फोर्स आर एट ओ एंड अ कपल ऑफ मैग्नीच्यूड एम राइट एंड फर्दर वी आर आस्क दैट इज द यूनिट स्लोइंग डाउन आर स्पीडिंग अप राइट सो फर्स्ट वी नीड टू फाइंड द रिजल्ट राइट सो द रिजल्ट विल हैव टू कम्पोनेट्स राइट सो आर एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू द एक्स कम्पोनेट ऑफ द रिजल्ट विल बी इक्वल टू द समेशन ऑफ आल फोर्स इज अलॉन्ग एक्स एंड आर वाई विल बी इक्वल टू द समेशन ऑफ आल फोर्स इज आर कॉम्पोनेट्स अलॉन्ग वाई राइट सो नाउ फर्स्ट वी कै वी हैव टू रिजॉल्व दीज फोर्स इज इन टू टू कॉम्पोनेट्स एंड दो कॉम्पोनेट्स नीड टू बी पैरल विद द एक्स एंड वाई एक्सेस इज राइट so before resolving these two forces that is 450 newton and 800 newton first we have to find the angle of this one 6, 1600 newton force with the x axis is or y axis is right since we want to resolve this 1600 newton force into its components along x and y axis is right so the angle of this 1600 newton force is given here right this is 20 degree right and this line is making 30 degree angle right so first we have to find the angle of this 1600 newton force with the y axis is or x axis is right so now if i draw the if i draw only that 1600 newton force and represent all those angles which are given right so let's say that this is that line which is uh which is in the negative x direction right this is the positive x and this is positive y right so let's say this is that this line right from o this is that point o and let's say that this is that another line which is making 30 degree angle with this with this line right so this is given this is making 30 degrees and then this there is a line which is perpendicular with this line right and that is making 20 degree right so let me draw that line as well so here we have one another line like this and this line is perpendicular with this line right and this 1600 newton force is making 20 degree with this red line right so now if i represent their 1600 force and so this is 1600 force right this is 1600 newton force and it is making 20 degrees right now if i draw a third line and if their third line is perpendicular with this line if this third line is perpendicular with this line right so then as we can see that this line this red line is perpendicular with this line and this green line is perpendicular with this line so this means that the angle between this red line and this green green line is 30 degrees right so if this whole angle is 30 degrees if this angle is 30 degrees and this angle is 20 degrees so this means that the this 1600 newton force is making 10 degrees with the y axis is right or the line which is parallel with the y axis is right so now we know that this uh, line this 1600 newton force is making 10 degrees right so this is 10 degree angle now we can resolve this 1600 newton force into its components right so if i resolve this 1600 newton force into its components so it will have one component which will be acting in this direction right and this one will be the cos component right so we can say that this is 1600 cos of 10 degrees right since the angle made with this line this vertical line is 10 degrees right so this is 1600 cos of 10 degrees and it will have one another component which will be acting in this direction in the positive x direction and this one will be 1600 sin of 10 degrees right so now we can find the summation of all forces along x and the summation of all forces along y so now i can write that r x will be equal to and this is our positive x right so this 400 this 450 newton force is having a component in the uh, positive x direction 
right this is that component and this is the cost component right we can say this is 450 cos of so i will write 450 cos of 15 degrees this is acting in the positive x direction similarly this 800 newton force is having one component in the positive x direction as well so this is 800 newton so i will write plus 800 cos of 15 degrees right and similarly this 1600 sine of 10 degrees is acting in the negative x direction so i will write minus 1600 sine of 10 degrees so this will give us the our x component of the resultant so our x component of the resultant comes out to be 929.6 newton now we can find r y if we apply this equation so r y will be equal to so this 450 newton force will have one component which will be acting in this direction right and this is our negative y direction and this 800 newton force will have one component in this direction right this is the sine component right and this is acting in the negative y so i will write minus 450 sine of 15 degrees plus this one is 800 sine of 15 degrees this is acting in the positive y direction so this is plus 800 sine of 15 degrees and similarly this 1600 cos of 10 is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus 1600 cos of 10 degrees so this will give us the ry component of the resultant so ry equals to 1666 newtons right so now we can uh, represent that resultant at point o right so it the resultant has uh, one component let let me represent that resultant in a vector form so this can be written as 929.6 i plus 1666 and this is acting in the positive y so i will write j right so now we can represent this resultant so this resultant will be acting at point o in this direction somewhere right so it will have one component in the positive x direction and it will have one component in the positive y direction right so this is the representation of that resultant now we will find the resultant moment right so we will find the summation of the moments of these three forces right so that then we will represent that moment at point o right so let's say that the moment at point o is m right and let's say that the counterclockwise moment is positive right so now this is will be equal to now as we can see that uh, this 450 newton force is producing counterclockwise moment about this point o right and the perpendicular distance of uh, this 450 newton force from that point o is how much so this the radius of this pulley which is 280 mm right so this is 280 mm which is given right so now we can write that this is plus 450 into 280 divided by 1000 so this will be 0.28 similarly this 800 newton force is producing uh, the clockwise moment about this point o so we will write minus and this is 800 and the perpendicular distance of this 800 newton force from that point o is again the radius of this pulley right so which is 280 mm and in meters it will be 0.28 meters right now to find the moment of this 1600 newton force we have to find the perpendicular component of this 1600 newton force with the radius of this gear right so the perpendicular component of this 1600 newton force is this one right so if i represent that so this is the component of this 1600 newton force which is perpendicular with the with this line right which is the radius of this gear right so this will be the perpendicular distance right so as we can see that this is the 1600 this component is 1600 cos of 20 degrees right and this component of this 1600 newton force is producing counterclockwise moment about this point o right so we will write plus and this is 1600 cos of 20 degrees and its perpendicular distance from that point o is the radius of this gear which is 150 mm so 150 divided by 1000 will be 0.15 meters and similarly this 160 newton force will have one component here right and that will be acting radially right and this is the sine component this is 1600 1600 sine of 20 degrees but now as we can see that this component is passing through that point o so it will not be able to produce the moment about point o right so only this component of 1600 newton force is producing 
काउंटर क्लॉक वाइज मोमेंट अबाउट दैट पॉइंट ओ सो द रिजल्ट इन मोमेंट प्रोड्यूस बाय दिस थ्री फोर्सेस इज इक्वल टू 127.5 न्यूटन मीटर्स एंड दिस इज सिंस दिस इज प्लस साइन सो दिस मींस दैट दिस इज काउंटर क्लॉक वाइज मोमेंट सो नाउ वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट दिस मोमेंट सो दिस इज काउंटर क्लॉक वाइज मोमेंट and its magnitude is 127.5 mm and in the statement we were asked that is the unit slowing down or speeding up so in the statement it was said that the gear and the attached v belt pulley are turning counter clockwise right so initially it was turning counter clockwise and the resultant moment produced by these three forces is also counter clockwise so this means that the whole system is speeding up right so this is the solution of this particular problem